Hey guys, this is Charlie from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I will discuss the differences between VTWAX and VTSAX. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better, but first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their expense ratios. Even though Vanguard manages both funds, each calls for an expense ratio independent of what the other charges. Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund Admiral Shares VTSAX, demands an expense ratio of 0.04% of the total assets they manage. On the other hand, Vanguard Total World Stock Index Fund Admiral Shares VTWAX, deducts 0.1% of the total assets they hold. This stipulates that investing in the VTSAX is less costly than venturing into VTWAX. Therefore, VTSAX is cost-friendlier. Dividend Yield A dividend yield is a financial ratio that dictates the dividends paid from a share price. This yield is another apparent disparity between VTSAX and VTWAX, as the former's yield rates are significantly lower than what VTWAX offers. For instance, VTSAX's average dividend yield for the past 12 months is around 1.35%, whereas VTWAX's is approximately 1.97%. The 0.62% disparity in dividend yield results is a significant difference in dividend output per share. Therefore, VTWAX offers more dividends than VTSAX. Volatility Currently, VTSAX presents a volatility of 4.05%, whereas its VTWAX counterpart has a relatively lower volatility of about 3.36%. The metric assesses price fluctuation within a given period. Larger volatilities indicate large price fluctuations, hence increased risk compared to lower volatilities. Therefore, VTWAX has relatively low investment risks due to low volatilities. But do they have similarities? Of course, they do. The most obvious similarity between the two funds is that they were launched by Vanguard and are managed by the same entity to date. Also, the funds have almost identical price movements with a correlation value of about 0.97. To sum up, which is better, VTSAX or VTWAX? I leveraged VTSAX's low expense ratios, among other provisions, while starting off as a novice investor. Later on, I ventured into VTWAX as it presented more advantageous provisions not enjoyed by VTSAX investors. These provisions include, but are not limited to, higher dividend yields and low investment risk levels. Since adjusting to VTWAX investment, I've never bothered to go back to VTSAX investment again. Therefore, VTWAX is the overall winner. Thanks for watching.